Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 61 and the question is number 17. This one, to be honest, is extremely similar to question 16. So it reads, two cars moving at speed in opposite directions pass a traffic light. The first one is travelling with a speed of 10 meters per second and acceleration of 1 meters per second squared. The other is travelling with speed 20 meters per second squared. That's typo, it should be with speed 20 meters per second and deceleration 5 meters per second squared. How far apart will it be when the second car comes to rest? So once again, I'm going to say that they start at this position here. Car A goes in this direction, car B goes in this direction. Clearly because they are in opposite directions. Car A has a speed of 10 meters per second and an acceleration of 1 meters per second squared. Car B uh, is traveling at 20 meters per second, not meters per second squared, and decelerating at minus 5 meters per second squared. Decelerating, so you use the negative. So the question is, uh, how far apart will they be when the second car comes to rest? So the time is this. What we want to find out is, how long will it take for car B to come to rest? Then work out how far A will have travelled in that time. And since you want to find out the distance apart, you add the distances. Add this distance plus this distance gives your distance apart. So for car B, we'll use the usual u asked formulae. He starts. Now, when they say it passes a traffic light, don't read into what's physically happening. Just look. That basically means that the starting point is the traffic light. And we're going to call that at the traffic light, t is equal to zero. So we'll say his initial speed at t is equal to 0 at the traffic light is 20. He goes to rest, we're told, at a deceleration of minus 5. So let's find out the rest of the, the variables. If we look at v is equal to u plus at, the only unknown is t. So that's one equation, one unknown. We're good to go. So 0 is equal to 20 minus 5t. Minus 20 is equal to minus 5t. Negative, negative, you can turn it into a positive. 20 over 5 is equal to t is equal to 4. All right, so the time is 4 seconds. Next, we'll do the, the distance. So I'm going to say s equal to u plus v over 2 times t is equal to 20 plus 0 over 2 times 4. So that's 10 times 4 is equal to 40 meters. Like that. That's pretty straightforward. Secondly, we'll go on car A. So the time is 4 seconds. His initial speed is 10 meters per second and his acceleration is 1. So V is equal to U plus AT is equal to 14. We'll say that's 1 times 4, which is 4. Add it to 10, that's 14. And S is equal to U plus V over 2 times T. 10 plus 14 over 2 times 4. So that's that. That's 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. 12 fours is equal to 48. So after 4 seconds, they will be 40 plus 48 meters apart. So they will be 88 meters apart. After so it'll take 4 seconds for car B to come to rest and after that 4 seconds they will be 88 meters apart. So let's check that at the back of the book and that is correct. Alright, that is perfectly correct. So I'm just going to note the fact that we had 4 seconds 88 meters up here. I know I couldn't see that but that's just a note for myself. So there is a, of course always a second part to these questions and let's just have a look at it now. It says at what time were they half this distance apart? So we want to know at what time were they 44 meters apart. So look at car A and car B. Some variables haven't changed. They're still, we'll say, they are still at a... They are no, look, obviously there's a quicker way of doing this, but I'm just going to do this logically so that we can understand it properly. Well, car A started at 10, accelerated at 1, and uh, that's all we know. And we know that B started at 20 and decelerated at 5. Now, once again, the time is the same. 
because obviously after 44 meters they're both they have traveled at the same time so the 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 we'll say thing we need to know here is that s1 plus s2 is equal to 44 meters that's the important thing all right that's something we've seen on many occasions at this stage so what we'll do is we'll use our usual uvast formula v is equal to u plus at so v1 is equal to u which is 10 plus 1 times t so that is 10 plus t and s is equal to u plus v so that's uh, 10 plus 10 plus t over 2 times t so there's 20 plus t over 2 times t so there's 20 plus t over 2 times t so the distance is 20t plus t squared over 2 that's pretty straightforward again note that square then use the same for 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 car b so v is equal to u plus a t 20 minus 5 t so look at the algebra there t is equal to 4 seconds oh that's that's incorrect one sec now No, it's not. So that that is it that is that isn't correct. What am I doing? This isn't zero. So v is equal to twenty minus five t. Excuse me. I was just jumping ahead of myself there. So we'll do the distance. So we know the distance is s two is equal to u plus v over two times t. So that's twenty plus twenty minus five t over two times t like that so that's 20 plus 20 minus 5 t over 2 times t so that's 40 t minus 5 t squared over 2 all right so that's reasonably straightforward as well so now what we do is we apply our condition that s1 plus s2 is equal to 44 so you have 20 t plus t squared over 2 that's s1 plus s2 which is 40 t minus 5 t squared over 2 is equal to 44 multiply across by 2 you have 20 t plus t squared plus 40 t minus 5 t squared is equal to 88 add everything that's got a square so that's minus 4t squared add everything that has got a t plus 60t is equal to 88 and you always want to rearrange this so that you have plus 4t squared so that's actually 4t squared minus 60t plus 88 is equal to 0 like that alright so we're doing okay now I've said before what is a polynomial a polynomial is an equation that's got powers so it could be 3 3 to the 9 plus you know 2 to the 8 plus I don't know 1 to the 2 is equal to 0 something like that this is a polynomial that's got powers the highest power uh, the highest power is what is 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 what you is the uh, is we'll say the name of it so this would be a polynomial of degree 9 if it's a polynomial of degree 2 then it's called a quadratic like that that's something you've seen plenty of times and when my teacher used to say that in school I never knew what he was talking about anyway so we know that we know how to solve this we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a now what are our very our, our coefficients so we have plus 4 is a, minus 60 is b, and plus 88 is c. So we have minus b, which is minus times minus is plus 60, plus or minus. Now, I'm going to do this square root thing in my calculator. So b squared is, let's say 60 squared minus, 60 squared, excuse me, I have to make a mistake, 60 squared, minus 4 times plus 4 times 88 is equal to 2192 square root that and you get 
46.81 over 8 over excuse me over 8 yeah 2 times 2 times 4 so now if you look at this now um, both of those will give you a positive number so let's just have a look at this 60 minus 46 first of all divided by 8 the first answer is 1.64 and the other one is um, Thirteen point three. Thirteen point three. So let's just check this at the back of the book. One point six four is correct. Now how do we know which one we're to take and which one or not? This one here by the way is correct. So how do we know which one? And just let me think for a second. So we're asking at what distance will they be? Do you know something? I'm kind of stumped. I'll probably have to think that for a second as to why explicitly it's 1.64 and not 13.3. I'll have to think about that. I, I might put that in a comment. It could be that I'm just missing something very simple at the moment. Anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel.